I want to talk to you about some foods that are rich in a fiber called inulin. So inulin is a hard fiber, it's a stringy fiber. So if you think of artichokes and leeks and celery, onions and garlic are also in this category. What am I forgetting? Oh, asparagus. So um, some people peel their asparagus, so you're down to the little tender bit. You definitely want to break off the end. See, now we're getting into a cooking show, um, but because it's hard to eat. But these particular foods are very rich in inulin, and why, why is that important? It feeds your short-chain fatty acids. Now, the short-chain fatty acids heal your gut, so if you have a leaky gut, it tends to plug those holes and uh, reheal that gut so it's not overly permeable. It actually blocks, the short chain fatty acids block viral receptors. So viruses are only as good as they can latch onto something in your body and then, you know, get into your cell. So if it's blocking those receptors, the virus just can't find a home, which is perfect. That's exactly what you want. And um, so the short chain fatty acids boost your immune system. They are beautiful. And those of us who don't eat enough good fiber, let alone inulin, so I'm giving you the high fiber. And you can look up online as far as other foods that are in this category category, I gave you some of the big ones, but um, getting a lot of inulin in your diet to feed your short chain fatty acids will really boost your immune system. I'm doing a little series on winter's coming and, and sickness is coming as far as colds and flu. And so what can you do to really boost your short chain fatty acids, heal your leaky gut, not make yourself receptive to viruses, and just generally speaking, uh, boost that immune system and heal any sort of leaky gut. So um, I hope you found this helpful. These are foods that are very easy to bring into your diet and please share this with others and if you like the channel subscribe and I'll talk to you soon.